Hi, my name is Mike. I'm the guy who created Sales.js. I'm going to show you how to make something cool with TreeLine. It's a tool that's built on top of Sales.js. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to figure out what the heck I'm going to make. And I think in this case, I'm going to make an app that will deliver you stuff like tigers to your home or place of business. So the first thing I need to do is make an app from the command line. Now I already have TreeLine installed, but if you don't have it installed, you can do sudo npm install g TreeLine. You may not need the sudo, it depends on your system. But I already have it, so I'm going to do treeline new, and I'm going to create an app called Genie. Now, this created a new sales app. I can cd into it, and if I take a look, it looks a lot like a sales app, nothing in particular special. The difference is, is I don't have to write any of the code in my API folder. So, if I run treeline lift, well first, let's log in. So if I visit treeline.io, I'm going to see my list of projects. Now if you haven't already signed up, you'll see something like this, which is a white page, which is actually a home page. There we go. If you sign up, you can uh, expect to hear from me soon, and we'll let you in. Um, once you're in, you'll create an account. It'll look something like this. If you make a new app, in this case we'll make ours called Genie, and Genie delivers tigers and other large mammals to your home or place of business. So I'm going to make it open source public. That means anyone can see the source code. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is create a route. It's going to be just the home page, right? All this has to do is serve a view. So I'm going to choose from this list display view. And the name of my view, well, if I look back over here, you can see in my views folder, I already have one called home page. So I'm just going to use that. And this is just the normal home page that comes with sales. So let's run treeline lift. And what that's going to do is establish a WebSocket connection with the server and then stream down the compiled code from treeline IO to my local system where it'll lift sales. You can see it's installing some dependencies right now. Um, it's talking to the home base. There we go. That means it's running. So now I can open up localhost 1337 and bam, there's my home page. So now if I go back over and go to my view and change it and name it Genie, let's try that again. There we go. Bam, there's my home page. If I would prefer something else like a custom value, maybe some JSON, hello world, let's say, um, right? And I go back over here. You can see that's what I get now. So it's updating in real time. Now I'm going to go ahead and change it back to the view for now because what we need in our home page is a way for people to enter their phone number so we can talk to them and also tell us what they need. So let's do that really quick. What kind of animal are you looking for? And let's say, what is your phone number? So this one will make it a text input, and this other one will make it a text area. And let's just put these in a traditional web form for the time being, for the sake of expediency. I'm also going to do input type equals submit, so we have a little submit button. And we'll use the good old fashioned BR. Okay, text area name equals animal type. What is your phone number? It's going to be name equal to phone number. So nothing too crazy. We need an endpoint though, right? We need something on a server that will handle this for us. So I'm going to put method equals post, action equals get uh, order animal. Let's do animal order and be sort of more restful about this. So back over here in tree line, I'm going to go make a new route for animal slash order. It's going to be a post route slash animal slash order. Now, this route, what I needed to do is send me a text so I can go ahead and get the process started of getting the animal delivered. And from there, I'll be able to text back and forth with the person since I know their phone number. So in order to do that, I need an integration with something that will send text messages. 
Luckily, there's already something called Twilio that does this pretty well. And I can go in and see the list of all the available integrations on nodemachine.org. If I go to Browse Machines, you can see Twilio. It only has one machine, but that machine does pretty much what I need. Thanks to this guy, Parker. So, it looks like to send a message, I'm going to need some other information. So I need to sign up for a new Twilio account. So to do that, I'll go to Twilio. Dot com and it's actually pretty easy to get one of these all you have to do is sign up enter your name and email address well let's call it genie at treeline.io and my password oh you need a really strong password for this Let's see if that works. This is really suspenseful. Oh my god, alright, here we go. And I'm going to need to verify that I am human. So I'll go ahead and just do that. And it looks like my verification code is uh, already here, actually. So 265403. 265403. And I'm going to type in the two different words. That is hard. Did I get it right? Yes, my first Twilio phone number. I like it. I'm going to copy that for later, I think. Sometimes I like to open a new tab and just throw it in there. Okay, this is new. I just need to go to my account. And API credentials. Perfect. Okay, I need this account SID and I'm going to need this auth token. So, back over here in Treeline, I'm going to import the Twilio machine pack. Only one L, don't forget. All right, install that. There it is. I'm going to send a SMS. So if I configure this guy, I'm going to go back over to this account SID, paste it in. I'm going to grab this auth token, paste it in. Now the from of the message is, needs to be that phone number that I grabbed earlier. So I can grab that right here, flop that down. And the body of the message is going to be whatever the user entered in. So if we look back at our form, we sent the type of animal as animal type. So that means we can say uh, someone has requested a whatever that is, right? So there's our animal. Um, you can reach them at, and I'm going to go ahead and put in the phone number. That'll get the conversation started. Finally, the two is going to always just be my phone number because I just need to receive the message myself and I'll be able to get back to them. So I'll put in my phone number there and hit save. Now what I have is a route that I can hit from a form and it's going to send a text message to me. I don't really need any kind of custom result here, so I'm just going to send back a status code that says 200, everything worked out just fine. If I look in my usage sidebar here, you can see the two parameters I just added in line. One is animal type, and one is phone number. They're both strings. Then under successful responses, or potential responses, I have success. That's the only thing that could happen from this. There isn't any branching in this route. So this happens when the text was successfully sent to Mike's phone. All right. And let's change the name of the response just to make it more personal for us so you remember how it works. And you can see it added a little description under there so I would know where it actually came from in my route in case I need to look that up later. This is sort of the beginning of some automated documentation that we're preparing. It'll go with the automated test generation. Okay, so now, now that I have the ability to actually send this text to my phone, I need to have a thanks page of some kind. And actually, now that I think about it, instead of responding with status code 200, I think I want to just redirect to a new page. So how about we redirect to a page called thanks? So we need to make a new route for that too. So we'll go back out to routes. We'll create a new route called get thanks. And this, all it really has to do is show a new page that says, thanks for ordering with us. The genie will have your 
large or small mammal to you as soon as possible. So thanks. We'll just pop back over. We'll create a new view in here named thanks, EJS, and we'll say thanks. We'll have your animal delivered ASAP. And maybe expect a text from Mike in the next few minutes, just to be more realistic. So, that should work. Let's try it out. Yeah, all we have to do is go into the browser and we'll look at our homepage. What kind of animal are we looking for? Well, how about a tiger? And what's my phone number? Well, let's just put something fake in here for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit that. All right, so if we look at my phone, we should see Yep. Okay. So we got a message sent from your Twilio trial account. Someone has requested a tiger. You can reach them at 555-5555. We're done. Now we can text that person back and we can start making money. So that is Treeline. If you're interested, please sign up on treeline.io. Looks like this, the thing with the mountains and the weird back rubber logo. We will get you in as soon as we can. We're working through the beta. Still working out a few kinks, but we're really excited about what the future holds and what it looks like in a world where you don't have to write the same repetitive backing code again and again. I hope you're with us.